editable poly, the selection rollout, the loop button. So let's go and make uh, a cylinder here. And I'm going to right click on it and convert it to an editable poly. I'm going to come over here to my editable poly sub objects and I'm going to select the edge. Now this function, the loop function, works for edge and borders. So I'm going to pick an edge and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and pick on one edge. And you can see it's selected right here. And then I'm going to come over and pick on loop. And it picks the entire loop um, of, of edges that are aligned with that first edge. And then at that point, I can come over here and say select and move. I can grab those and pull those out, for example, like such. Now, I'm going to do that again. I have an edge. I'm going to pick on one edge here. I'll come over on loop, and it picks everything that's aligned with that edge. I'll pick on this, uh, on, I'm over here on select and move. And on the select and move then, I'm going to pull it. And I can make changes here. And so I can pull that around as, as needed, all right? And I can deselect this, all right? And I end up with then uh, selecting a loop is selecting uh, any edge or border, and it will select all the edges or borders that are aligned with that selected edge.